built environment in London is hugely diverse. In the UK, it's responsible for 40% of our emissions, and so therefore the sector is centre front of our efforts to reduce emissions. I'm Sarah Ratcliffe, CEO of the Better Buildings Partnership. One of the challenges with sustainability is that it isn't a one-size-fits-all. We need to understand these buildings and find the appropriate solutions. Designing sustainable buildings is more important than ever because we are at a tipping point in the impact that we're having on our planet. I'm Frank Bland, Senior Sustainability Manager for Multiplex. Multiplex is a Tier 1 contractor originally based in Australia, but now headquartered in London for our European activities. We focus on unique projects across the UK. Sustainability for me is about challenging the status quo, not doing business as usual and just doing things better. Climate change is one of the defining issues of this decade and the built environment needs to react to this by maximising the positive impacts that it can create. My name is John Davis. I am the Head of Sustainability at Derwent London. Derwent London is a UK-based real estate investment trust focusing on the London property market. We are responding to the climate change challenge by becoming a net zero carbon business by 2030. Through the World Green Building Council, Multiplex are committed to owning and occupying only net zero carbon buildings by 2030 as well as advocating for all buildings to be net zero carbon by 2050. Having strong relationships is a key factor for us at Derwent London and has been put into practice in our latest scheme, which is our 80 Charlotte Street development, our first all electric net zero carbon project delivered in collaboration with Multiplex. As part of our net zero approach, some of the key design features that have been included are the use of solar thermal, rainwater harvesting, air source heat pumps, and low carbon concrete. Volume, light, and space are important in helping to create healthy and productive workspaces, which is a key mantra for our business. Buildings like Charlotte Street that have access to natural daylight, improve indoor air quality and design in biodiversity can have an important influence on the health, well-being and productivity of their occupants. The construction materials at 80 Charlotte Street contained a much higher content of recycled material. That's both things such as the concrete and the steel. 99% of construction waste was diverted from landfill. That means that almost all waste was either recovered, recycled or reused. On the other end of the equation, it is important for us to work closely with our tenants to ensure that the building is operated efficiently and continues to create long-lasting positive impacts. I think that London needs to reinvent itself, finding creative solutions as our working patterns change. This is all a really important part of building back better and building strong, resilient communities. 80 Charlotte Street is an important blueprint for our business to help us on our journey towards net zero carbon. Net zero carbon isn't just the way forward in London. It needs to be a national and global effort. The impact that the built environment has in terms of carbon emissions and waste production is huge. We have to react to this by minimising the negative impact that it can have, by maximising the positive impacts that it can create.